back to the channel today let's discuss zip function is python right it is a very cool function and we will see how it can be used to manage multiple indices in your uh, python right so zip in python is a built-in function that lets you combine elements from multiple list or any other attribute like tuple set or dictionary anything index by index it helps in managing multiple indices easier Think of it as a putting items in a zipper. It logs the first elements together and then the second and so on. Okay, so let's uh, let's demonstrate it how it is helpful, right? So let's say I have two lists: a list of names and a list of ages. Now I want to print that Ankit has age thirty, Rahul has age thirty-one, and Sumit has age thirty-two. So I am running a for loop, and I have to manage multiple indices, right? One indices is for name and another for age and then i'm printing them right so if i run this this is what i'm getting in the output ankit is 30 years old rahul is 31 years old and sumit is 32 years old great now let's see how we can simplify it using zip function so i will say data equal to zip right this this is my zip function zip and i'll say names ages so i'm passing these two lists Right, these two iterables I'm passing in my zip function. I can pass multiple. I'll just show you. But for now, I'm passing just two list. Okay. Now, if you just print this, right? Let me comment out quickly. So I'll say print data. Right. And when I run this, you will see that it is saying zip object at this. So there's a zip object which is located on this location in your memory. Yeah? This is the address of the memory where this object is stored. Now what I can do is I can convert it into a list. So let me convert it to a list and then you will be able to see it, right? So let me print it again. Now if you see, this is a list, right? Two dimensional list, a list of tuples. So the first tuple is Ankit 30, right? So first elements are zipped together. Second elements, of both the list are zipped together third elements are zipped together and so on and so forth right now what you can do you can run a loop over it right so to run a loop over it you don't need to convert it to a list right you can just directly run a loop so what we will do let me just uh, comment remove this and uncomment this right now instead of this i in range i can simply say age data in right age and data is a kind of zip together so directly i can say in my data right this zipped object and then i can say just print sorry age and name my bad age and name in data right print this name sorry name is first and then age my bad because here i am passing names first and ages then right so name will be coming first and then h and directly i am presenting this name and h right so let me run this now see i am getting the same thing right this is the data let me remove it okay now couple of things that you need to take care of right one is if let's say one of your list has more elements so let's say this has one more let's say imran right now what will happen what will happen is zip will take the shortest possible list, right? So if you have three elements in one list and four elements in one list, then it will stop at three elements only. If it has only two, so then it will stop at only two. It will not give you error, but zip object will have Ankit 30 and Rahul 31 only. So let me run this and show you. So you see only Ankit and Rahul are coming, right? If I add one more, let's say 32, then Ankit 30, Rahul 31, Sumit 32 will come. Right? So this is how it works. Okay. Now what you can also do, let me just remove it for now. You can have more than two lists as well. So let's say you have salary as well. Right. Let's say 10,000 or 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. Right. So I can pass salary as well here. Right. So if I pass salary, I can say give me salary as well right because in this tuple kind of thing right there will be three elements in each 
uh, element right and then i will say uh, earns salary right and let me run this again so now i am getting angit is 13 years old uh, earns 1000 right 31 years old earns 2000 right so this is how you can make use of zip now as i said you can always convert it to a list right even then it will work right because it is a list of tuples right so if i just run this again this also will work right but i just want to show you uh, different uh, data structures. So, for example, if I do print data, I think I showed you already, right? Uh, sorry, let me clear it. Yeah. So you see, this is a list of tuples, but I can convert into a tuple as well. So I will say tuple, right? So it will be a tuple of tuple, right? So you see, this is a tuple of tuple, right? You can convert it into a dictionary as well. So when I do dictionary. It will be kind of so let me take two only right so when i convert it to a dictionary it will be key value pair so if you see see this is a key value pair ankit the first element is key and second element is 30 so ankit 30 rahul 31 sumit 32 now if i pass salary as well here let me pass salary now what will happen right because for dictionary there should be two elements ideally and if I pass three, what will happen? One will be key, one will be value, and what will third will be, right? So let's see what will happen. If I run this now, it is giving me error. That salary is not defined, okay? Uh, salary is not defined. Uh, why it is telling that salary is there? Mm. Okay, let me run it again. Maybe I didn't save it. Yeah, so now it is saying dictionary update sequence element 0 has length 3, 2 is required, right? So if you are converting into a dictionary, then you should have only 2 elements. You cannot have 3 elements, right? So that is what you have to take care of. Otherwise, with tuples list, it is all fine. There is no issue as such, right? So this is fine with 2 elements. But if you have, you are converting into a list or tuple or you can convert it into an even set, right? So let's see what it will show you. So set is this. This is a set of tuples, right? So read it again. Zip in Python is a built-in function that lets you combine elements from multiple lists or any other attribute. It can be a tuple, it can be a set or dictionary, right? Index by index, it locks first elements together, then the second elements, and so on. Okay, I hope this makes sense. Thanks for watching.